This next one right here is one of the most popular ones. This makes it look like it's a tunnel and it's coming back down into space. For this one, you of course will need your piece of paper. And again, you can take a paper, regular paper, fold it in half and then fold it in half again so you have something about the size of your hand. Or a note card will work really, really well. I'm gonna use a sheet of six by six inch paper so you can see it better. A pencil, a ruler, and a Sharpie. Now, if you don't have a Sharpie, that's okay. You can um, use any type of marker, or you can just fill it in with a pencil, and that will work too. So I'm going to take my paper, and remember, so much of this is about math. And so that I can find the center of my paper, I folded it in half, and I folded it in half again, and that tells me that right here is going to be the center of my paper. And that is my vanishing point because this is one point perspective. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pen straight edge and I'm gonna go through this dot, through this vanishing point, from edge to edge of my paper like this. Then I'm gonna do the same thing from edge to edge here to here, like that. So I've created my an X, and I've done that from corner to corner. It's important that you go edge to edge. Then I'm going to do down the middle this way, again from edge to edge, right through that vanishing point, right through that line. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the top so that I have like a T or a cross and an X. And that's what I have so far. Next, this is when it gets a little more complicated. And this is also when you would, um, normally, if this was your final, when you would use a ruler. And I would find the exact half of my piece. But since we are measuring this, and this is for practice, we are going to do our best to estimate. And I'm going to divide this one in half, which divides this one in half. So I'm going to put my ruler through from the edge to the vanishing point through the other edge so that I get that. This is very similar to what we did with the color wheel. The only difference is we're not doing it on a circle. See, divided. We're doing it on a square or a rectangle. Now I'm going to do this one. Again, estimation. This is all practice to prepare you for your final. And then I have this one here. Okay. So I start with this. And I hope that you can see that. Right. Now, to make this a little easier, I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to fold it in half this way. See, fold it up to the middle and then unfold it. Then I'm going to take this edge and fold it to the middle and then unfold it. And then I'm going to take this edge and fold it in the middle and then unfold it. And then I'm going to take this edge and fold it in the middle and then unfold it. So the reason I did this is so you can see those lines a lot easier because now if you look, you've created this inner box. So if I look right here, I have this fold that comes across right there, but I'm not going to draw it edge to edge. I'm just going to draw the fold to this middle line right here. And then I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to go and follow the same fold that I just did here. And stop. This is really helpful when you don't have a ruler or you only have a straight edge and you need them to match up. Folding your paper works really well. So I have this. Now this is not as detailed as this one is, but again, this is practice. This is where we're starting. Right. So 
So now I'm going to mark again. I'll do it with pencil this time since I've messed up on another one. So if I have black here, I'm sorry, white here, black, white, 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 black, white. Then I do the exact opposite on the outside. Since this is white, this would be black, white, 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 black, white. See? And now you can come in with your markers or just your pencil and you can color that in. And remember I recommend erasing your X before you color over it because once you color over that X, it will be there forever. It like seals it in place. And these are practice just to get you prepared for your final. So some of my lines aren't might not add up perfectly. I like the chisel tip markers for this because they draw your straight edges pretty well. It also works if you have a marker that's not getting ready to run out. Once you understand how to do this, it just gets easier and easier. The hardest part is actually laying out your colors. And you want to make your colors as solid as possible. You don't want to have like a bunch of scribble lines in there. It always gets a little harder in these smaller spots to use a chisel tip. So you could put that away and switch to a smaller. Notice that I didn't erase my excess, so they're sealed. Like you can see them in here. That's not going to. It's not really going to erase.
And then I'm on my last one.